Yo, 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 yo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My, my life is in disarray. <laughs> it's been so busy. I missed you guys. We didn't have a live stream last week. Uh, and my apologies. There was just no way to do it. I brought all my stuff and the internet at the hotel that I was staying at in Atlanta wasn't really great. So we took a week off. As much as it hurt my soul, my heart, everything, I decided to come back. Hola, Billings from B-Town. Billy B, Billy P from the B. Uh, so today we're talking about the death of the IGTV, okay? And every time, like I was, I did the, you know, the description for this a couple times in a couple of different places as I marketed it. All I could think about was like Jay-Z's song, The Death of the Auto-Tune. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. All right. So if you haven't seen it yet, there are some updates. Uh, Instagram has gotten rid of Instagram television. OMG. You won! I know. I know. I was never really a big fan, to be quite honest. Uh, I, I thought it would have fallen on its face in its first six months had it not been tied to Instagram and all of the people, all of the people they already had in the platform. And they're constantly changing and modifying it and seeing how they can make it better. Hola, Dr. Jeffrey Scott Santin. Uh, you guys could check out our podcast we did yesterday. That was excellent as well. That's one of the things like I'm doing three live streams and two sessions in, in these two days, yesterday and today. So like I'm trying to get things out before I started today. <laughs> I'm like messaging the wrong people. I got my, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. There's a lot of moving parts when you do live streaming and, and Hey, it's still fun. We're still doing it. We're still getting it done. <sighs> so I need to shave as I look at my, my camera feed. <laughs> so I have uh, an output which shows me what you guys see over here. And then I have a um, shared screen over here. Then I have my, my stuff over here, which as I look at that, I got to go like this. I'm going to come in here and I don't even have my 18 branding up. Boom. There we go. Jeepers creepers, Jeremiah. Some might say I'm a sassy biscuit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so check out your Instagram right now. If you haven't updated it recently or it hasn't updated, you should see four um, – here, I'm going to bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Now, see? Share my screen so that you can see what I see. Not that screen, silly goose. The first screen. Okay, here we go. So I'm on the Instagram. I'm going to take that off for a second. Scroll down my ecam. You guys can see my comments and reactions are there. I'm gonna bring that over to the side. Hey, but you're getting behind the scenes action. So on ecam, um, when I have comments here, I add to the broadcast by hitting that button. Isn't that cool? So if you comment more, you will see your name on the screen. Just another tip for those of you who listen to live streams, like the more you comment, the more you engage, the more people are going to remember you because you're going to be not just on the live stream, but like I'm going to take this and repurpose it and put it on the YouTube and uh, you'll be there too. And you'll be there on the replay on Facebook. Hello. It's all about getting more exposure for free, but uh, it used to, and I should have taken a screen. I probably have an old screenshot, which I'll have to incorporate into this lesson at some point, but here's, here's my Instagram channel. Okay. Uh, when I come here, it used to say posts, reels. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, it used to say posts, reels, IGTV, saved and then tagged. And it doesn't anymore. It just says videos. So what it's done is combined, if I click that there, it's combined both my my feed videos, right? Cause you always knew that you could do a, a, a video in your feed up to 60 seconds. And then they had the IGTV was uh, 60 seconds up to one hour. Now they're going to take all of those videos and lump them into one spot called videos, um, which you could see my feed videos really 
don't perform well. Look, Jeff, I see you, Jeffrey. I see you. Um, and I never really posted. Oh, look, here's OPP. I got my shirt on today. Um, yeah, you know me. I'm very easily distracted. What the heck is this one? All right, I don't even know what that is, but I got to change the thumbnail on that because that bothers me. Okay, so that's where it's all going to be. Now, for those of you who aren't using Creator Studio, get on it. Okay, Creator Studio is a great way. If I come in here, um, Creator Studio, it's going to be business.facebook.com slash Creator Studio. This is where you can upload all of your stuff and schedule it if you want to. See, from here, this hasn't updated yet, though. Look, they got IGTV. But it has all content, video, photo, carousel, stories, and IGTV, right? So you, if you think about it, you have all those different ways that you can post to your Instagram involving video. Um, you have regular video. You have stories. You had – now it's just going to be videos, and then you have reels, which is strange that they have reels, but still reels is not available in the Creator Studio, and it's not available when you look up your insights. So they really are trying to keep it very separate. Let me come back over here. So if you're not using um, Creator Studio to upload stuff, you can do it from here. I know many agents are like, well, it's such a pain in the butt to upload videos from my phone. What are you doing? That's so 2018, folks. You can come right into, you sign into your Instagram account, Instagram.com slash, you know, your, not J-Man Speaks. Hey, but go to my account, make sure you, you, uh, you know, follow us if you're not. But you can go in there, and then if you go in the video section, when this was IGTV, this was my workaround uh, to upload videos to uh, the IG that were longer. So you just come in here, drag and drop a video file. You can add a thumbnail, right? It's going to be a, a 916 thumbnail rather than 169 like you would have on YouTube. Add your details. Um, now, this would be interesting to see because it used to be that uh, – it was clickable. The links were clickable in IGTV. You know what I'm saying? Links were clickable in IGTV. They were, they've never been in Instagram, but in IGTV, that was kind of a workaround. If you do the swipe up to an IGTV video, then they could click through uh, your call to action or whatever that is. Uh, but then the other feature, which is really great, which is has been here already, auto-generated captions. We know that your, your views go up, your engagement goes up when you add captions. Because people are watching this stuff while they're at work and everything. So you can, boop, check that button. Here, look. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to post it. Uh, but I'm going to save it as a draft. Let's see. Test from J-Man here. I just, I got a little bit of videos in here to <laughs> choose from. Damn, you got a lot of videos, homie. Okay, uh, this is a 16.9 format. So it'll be interesting to see if it'll take uh, just a short one. I'm going to caption it with some goobly garb. I'm going to auto-generate the captions here, and then I'll post. It's only a 47 or 36-second video. Uh, but with IGTV, we used to be able to post 16.9 videos. Uh, if it was Instagram, it was, you know, one-to-one -one ratio. It would be like the square box videos is what we had to do. So interesting to see what will work there. As that's cooking, do we have any questions, folks? Questions? Um, and look at... You know where I get all of my, and they're not even a, a sponsor of mine or anything like that, but when you're on the cutting edge, it's always, you know, find bigger fish, find people that, that, that know more than you. And I follow these, this channel, uh, later.com, their blog has all of the breaking news when it comes to social media all of the time. And I got this in my, in my email. It was funny because I did a social media class for the state of Oregon, uh, this week. And as soon as I was done with the class, I get the announcement. I we just I just finished talking about IGTV and how to use it. And then as soon as I'm done, it was like IGTV is dead. I got the email. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> what the <laughs> uh hey, but this is this is the guarantee of social media. Especially I feel like Instagram changes more than any other platform. They're always like doing a guess and check method to see um what works. So this is where I got it from. Here's what it means for you. Um, here are some other features that they're going to be adding, which has seemed pretty cool. 60-second feed previews. So if you have a longer 
longer, you know, longer form video up to an hour. If you do something like this, I'm going to start taking these and then I'll repost them to the gram. Um, I have to change the format. We have to see, I have to change the ratio. Um, maybe do a vertical fill. That's where you fill in the black spot from, uh, on the top and the bottom of your video so that it fits in that 916 format. Hey, good morning to Britt Jasper over in Brighton, Brighton, Tennessee. She makes fun of me because I don't say the T for some reason. I didn't realize I didn't say the T. So 60 second feed previews. Now it's more important than ever for you. If, and this is how I'm going to change my strategy. If they're going to do it here, let me make this bigger. Okay, as big as it's gonna get. Let me see. Okay, make it easier for you, just in case you don't have your gafas on. That's Spanish for glasses. Uh, Sixty-second feed preview. So that means if I have a thirty-minute uh, video, Britt, I know you did an interview yesterday uh, at a restaurant. It was yesterday, the day before. What I would do then is make a fun 60 second intro to that video. Don't let it be the first 60 seconds of your video, right? Cause that 60 second is your trailer to your show or whatever the longer form uh, video is. Hey, we got Tracy Ridgey Schmidt in the house from Wisco, also known as Wisconsin to the rest of us. Shout out to them cheese heads. Packers are okay, but go Bills. All right, a new video tab on the profile. I just showed you that. Um, you're going to have the ability to trim. Hmm. We'll see. Um, ability to upload captions. I don't have that yet either. And people and location tagging. Uh, I think we always, we had that with Reels. Pretty sure we had that with Instagram television as well. But all of these are ways for you to boost your SEO, your search engine optimization, and your engagement with the videos that you upload. Right? Make sure that you have a good thumbnail. Make sure that you check the box for the automated captions and then tag any people and businesses that you're um, that are involved and the location of that business. So if I did an interview uh, for the for the Chikang, the new Burger King in my neighborhood, I'm not going to do that. It'd be a locally owned place. Um, then I would. I bet you have captions. Yes. Yes, I do have captions. So um, thank you, Carrie Joe Little for for tuning in. Uh, then we can put that trailer on social media. Yes. Yes, Britt. So it's a good way to like multi-purpose, right? You take, or sometimes if you have a 30 minute video, there's like 30 seconds of sizzle where like maybe you were cooking on the, on the griddle with the guy. And that, like I did that one time I was cooking hamburgers at a burger spot, like behind the scenes kind of thing. That was super fun. Um, like use that in your trailer. If you watch Gary V's videos, he's been onto it obviously for a while already. He'll give you like that 30 second hook where you're like, Ooh, damn, I got to see that. Oh, what is that all about? And then you tune in. So more, more important than ever, uh, to get that done. However, simplified video experience. Yeah. Cause it was convoluted before. Uh, so we still have, right. Let's look at all of our different ways to create video content on Instagram. Number one, live video. Uh, Carrie Jo, maybe you can put in the comments. She's crushing it with live video when it comes to um, the IG. Matter of fact, when my show is done, you should go tune into her live on, on Instagram. I'm going to move this over here. It's off camera. Tune into her live on Instagram because she gets amazing engagement with uh, Instagram live. She'll have 60 to 100 people on her live stream on the IG. And you guys don't know how hard that is. She's been working really hard at it and she's crushing it. Uh, so you got live video. You have stories, right? Adding to your stories on a regular basis. We always talk about how important that is uh, to stay top of mind with the people that follow you. You have reels, number three, right? And now you have, so is that four? Reels, number three, and then you have videos, number four. It used to be um, feed posts, videos, number four, and then IGTV, number five. But it'll be videos, reels, stories, live video. Um, I think I'm getting it all. So you choose your path with the video. You decide what you want to do when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm just here to give you the information. Okay. See IGTV will be under new video tab. Let's see what other information that they're, um, sharing with us. Then they're going to, yeah, see four ways, Instagram live, Instagram video, 
Instagram Reels, and Instagram Stories. So more important than ever before for you to start really separating your content or do longer form video and then pull out chunks of that uh, for, your, for your Reels, right? I've had some stuff in the last week or so where I'm at an event and I get a good little minute of something and I'll take that and I'll shorten it to 30 seconds. Even though Instagram Reels can be 15, 30, or one minute, um, I still think a minute's a little bit too long. I try to keep it to 30 seconds. If I can do 15, even better because people's sh attention spans are short. Think about how you scroll Reels and how you scroll TikTok. TikTok's time on app is still at an all-time high and keeps increasing. I watch my son in the freaking thing. This is what he does. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back over here. Where's my main screen? See if do we have any... Dun, dun, dun. We do have a question. Hold on, I'm coming back over here. So Billy P's got a question about, uh, but can you put longer vids on IG now without IGTV? Yes. Yep. They're just combining them both. So it'll be, um, I guess, zero to one hour. We'll have to see. I'm going to try to load something up. When I'm done with this one, I'm going to try to load it to Instagram television or to the video section of my page and see how it handles it because this will be probably 30 minutes or so. So I, I would say yes. My short answer is yes. Um, here's the other thing that I want to say. Honestly, I'm bring up this. No, that's not it. One second. I uploaded a screenshot earlier. I just have to do it again, I guess. If you haven't gotten a notice recently from Instagram that looks like this. Okay. I got this. I took a screenshot because I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's um because you know I'm a savage, yeah. And then I said, uh oh. <laughs> Let's go. So now if you're doing reels like eh, every once in a while, double down, triple down, quadruple down. Like get busy with it, man. Tried, I'm, I'm going to try to do a reel a day for 30 days. I did two yesterday, I want to say. Uh, but that doesn't mean that that's my quota for today. It's done. I'm still going to do one today. So have fun with it. I feel like it, it's just such a great way to, to express your personality. But look at this. Reels can be recommended to anyone on Facebook, not just your friends and followers. Your reels should be known. Show them with your Instagram username, at jmanspeaks. You don't need a Facebook account. Anyone on Instagram and Facebook can create reels with your original audio, and if you allow it, remix your video. Okay? I hit always allow because I am a public figure, and the more people that see my content, the better off the world will be. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, look at how powerful that is. That means it's going to be in the recommended section. You already know that the reels have been performing 10 times greater than the other content on, uh, on Instagram. So now... It's even better. They're going to start showing it to people on Facebook. Uh, yesterday, I created a reel, and then I went over to Facebook. Uh, here's one of the things with reels. When you use their copyright-free music, right? Hold on. I'm going to come back over here and show you because I believe in visual um, demonstrations. I'm going to save this as a draft. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chopper. That's a TikTok. <laughs> Hala, hala. Okay, I'm going to go back to my profile. I'm going to come back and share this with you again. Let's see. Share it screen. Boop, boop. Okay. We're back over here where we started. So if you look at the reels, right? So this was a reel that I created yesterday. This one. Which one? You got 162. I thought it was really good. But oh, I'm like, why is there no sound? We've had a million, million. If I let that play, I'm going to get copyright. So I'm not going to, but it's let's get down to business, right? So I, you know that if, well, maybe you don't know. When you're uploading your reels, right before you hit get to the preview section, or right before you go to the post section, I got to think about it. There's a way to download that video, right? So I downloaded the video, and then it'll say, well, we'll download it for you. Because I, what I really wanted was the, the filter that was there. So I downloaded the video. I then went to Facebook. And I'm like, oh, this is fun. This is one that I'm going to, I don't post all of my stuff from my Instagram stories to my Facebook stories. We've talked about that before. I keep almost all of my content 
uh, here in the in the gram so that that's the only place you could tune in if you want to see my stories. That's the way I feel about it. But if it's performing well or something I think would have performed well, which you could see it was totally wrong there. Um, this is the most random stuff sometimes that 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 does well. Like, look, my dog with his head out the window freaking gets 1,200. That's unbelievable sometimes. Okay? But um, come back over here to post. If you take that, I downloaded it, music, and then when I, I was going to go just add it to my story on Facebook, when I went to add it to my story on Facebook, it asked me if I wanted to create a reel. So I created a reel on Facebook, and it had the same copyright-free music. So I uploaded it to Facebook. I then said add music, and I added the same music that I had on Instagram, uh, and it worked great. Okay. Do we have my car getting towed? Got over 3,000. <laughs> I know, right? It's always like the most random stuff. Hold on, let me add this here. Boop. There we go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Leticia, what was cute? I forgot. Oh, the video that I just did? Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, any other questions? I'm going to come back over here, but just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Real quick. See that? Real quick quick all right okay we're gonna go like this we're at the 9 30 mark i don't want to prolong this thank you leticia um too long past 9 30 but if, if you have any other additional questions uh just let me know because i'm gonna take this um, i have a whole advanced instagram strategies class that i teach um, part of it is first step for you. If you if you have a personal Instagram account, there's a couple things that, that bother me. If you have a private account, look, are you a secret agent? You don't want people to find you? Do you think that if I go to your page, your Instagram profile, and it's like, oh, top secret, now I really want to ask you to, no, I'm done. I'm done with you. If I can't even scroll your content and go, okay, I like this person or I don't, we're not going to be friends, okay? But go from a personal account to a business account. When you go business, uh, you can go, oh, uh, I don't know, Leticia. I haven't offered it for sale. Um, it'll be worth it. That's what I'll say, and I'll, I'll offer it out. If you're interested in the advanced Instagram strategies class, put um, AIGS in the comments. And I'll hit you up and we'll figure out a time that we could do it uh, via Zoom. It'll be like a small, small group coaching class, I guess, uh, for no CE, which is even more fun because I think we're all CE'd, CE'd out at this point. But let me show you some of the benefits. And what's where we're going to end um, profile improvement, right? So let me share. Let me share my other screen, my screen number three. There we go. No. Yeah, screen number three. I'm going to take this away for a second. Where are we at? Where are we at, homie? Over here. All right. Screen number three. It's weird when my, my thing does that because it's melting. All right. Profile improvement. So you could see here, um, this is my IG profile. If you've never done anything with your IG profile, like add some emojis and then break it down so it's not like a long drawn on sentence. You're limited in characters. So do the best you can, um, but put everything that you are, not just a realtor, uh, but also put a realtor, uh, your location, because some of you follow me and then I'm like, shoot, I don't even know where they are. And I, I place referrals all the time, all the time. So if you should have it right in your profile, uh, but you see in here, like, I don't have a location. I'm worldwide, right? So I don't put it in there. But I have Video Master, Virtual MC, Global Online Presenter, International Speaker, Realtor Family, Boat Rocker, Lover of, lover of Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit. And then, boom, the link tree. Um, there's a number of options out there. We've actually um, we changed our link tree to uh, a solo.to account. Um, it's a little bit different. I'll put that in the comments so that you can check it out. But solo.to gives me more options and I actually have a Facebook pixel on my link tree so that if somebody goes there and checks it out, Facebook pixel, now I can retarget them with a Facebook ad. What? <laughs> yeah, boy.
Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Like that's some that's some next level, next level shouldn't it? Okay, um, that's what that looks like. If you want to get your own link tree, if you don't have one, we've been talking about this for a while. Hopefully you do. But it's link dot e. I mean, worst URL ever. I don't know how they came up with that, but it should be just linktree.com, But whatever. Okay, that's what a link tree looks like. Uh, one of the things that I added at the top. Let's see where I'm pointing. See that virtual car download? I added that because I was at a convention and I was talking um, to a boomer. Best way to put it. Um, older than me and just mindset works differently, right? She asked me, well, why don't you have a virtual card on, on your link tree? And I'm like, huh? She's like, yeah, why don't you have a virtual card in your on your link tree and I'm like, yippee! I got it, I got it now. Because she saves people's information differently than I do. Like for me, if I connect with you on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, I don't need your card anymore. That's how I'm gonna contact you. But she wouldn't message me on Facebook and she wouldn't you know, DM me on Instagram. So for her, she said, having a virtual card download on there uh, will help. She'll take it. She clicks it. So if you go to my link tree, it's link in bio. <laughs> it's there on my Instagram. If you go there, you'll see that it. You click on it, and then you can create your own. It's it's link. Um, oh shoot! You'll see when you go there. V card dot something. I forget. Uh, but then it, it allows somebody to click it, and then just download all your info and save it to their phone. It makes it super easy. Okay. Um, let's upgrade you to business class. Watch this. So here's the difference, right and left. Personal profile on the left-hand side, business profile on the uh, on the right. So you can see it gives you more options to contact the person. Um, if you hit contact, it has email, it has their website, and it has a phone number, uh, I'm pretty sure. And then you can see there's also uh, their address, the business address, not just the URL. You get the analytics. The best way to really start curating your content is to look at your insights and analytics and say, you know what? That content sucks that I've been posting. I need to rethink. Or man, this content posted that I posted is, is going really well, right? If I look at my, these, these are just some screenshots that I did at some point. Um, these are two seven day periods. So on average, I'll post once a day to my Instagram feed I'll post 10 times a day to my story, and then it used to be once per week on IGTV, right? There I have three G, um, IGs, oh, that was 30 days, sorry. Um, and, and on the other one, four. And then I look at my overview, it says, okay, interactions, the one week was up 112%. So let's look at the content I did that week. It was better than the one prior that had negative 30.5%. That tells me that my content wasn't great. Okay, same thing in the seven day. Uh, seven day insights tells me similar, but I'll look. You gotta look at it weekly, if not daily, but weekly, depending on how much you're posting, to figure out um, what you're doing. Okay, we talked, we've talked about this in the past, but add, adding to your stories, you have that swipe down from the top. Tag your location, tag people that you're with. If there's a hashtag that you're at an event or business or somebody else is using, um, tag that as well. The more you can put into those stories, the better that engagement will be. And then what I would do while you still can, well, here, let me say that. I, I don't even know if this is available anymore. I have more than 10,000. So I have, they changed the swipe up. Used to be, you could swipe up and go, go to a link. Now they've made that a sticker. Um, the workaround was you could swipe up and have that go to an IGTV, uh, video. So I'm not sure how that will work. I'll have to test that out yet. I'll test that out later. Okay. Um, let's see what else I can show you before we go. Instagram advertising is available when you have a business account. They'll tell you what's good, right? They'll tell you what's doing better. Hopefully you should see that in your insights. You can schedule your posts ahead of time, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to come back over here because that is what we're talking about. So any other questions before we go? That was just a quick preview. Pew, pew, to advance Instagram strategies. And we'll get you in if you're interested. Um, I'll send out a, a time that would be good. Yes, I had to make mine the creator because business wouldn't let me search music. 
Yeah, Britt, thanks thanks for sharing. That is, if you follow my stories, and, and there a lot of people have asked me that, like, oh my God, where do you get all that music from? It's so good. I, I had done it so long ago. I thought it was just a business account, but when you switch business uh, to a business account, they'll ask you if you want to do business or creator. And creator is what you want to do because it gives you all the cool music. For me, and I'll end with this with like doing what you want to do and playing the music that you want to play. There are some people, there's a rule of, uh, of thought, let's say, where they're like, oh my gosh, Jeremiah, I can't believe that you would play hip hop music in your stories. And then I go, <laughs> I don't care. I love 90s hip hop. I love hip hop in general. And if you don't, then we're not friends. Like, like we can be colleagues. You don't have to tune into my stories. But the people that tune into my stories and go, yo, that's my jam, son. Like, those are my people. That's how rapport is built. And that's how, how you do business, right? So that's all, folks. Give you a round of applause. Let's see. Um, what kind of music should we end with? Let me look at my music selection. No? You don't want to end with music or you don't want to end? Okay, here we go. I need my lyrics. Here we go. Oh, keep it going. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Three, six, nine, interest rates fine. Move in, sing it to me one more time. Get sold. Get sold, get sold, get sold, get sold, get sold. To the window, to the wall.